All right, guys. Uh, 2003 uh, Mercedes uh, CLK 320, 722.6 uh, trans. Um, we're slipping on the 1-2 shift. We're gonna open this thing up and uh, and see what we can find. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, pass-through connector rack. Um, you have to take this out in order to get the valve body out. There's a little seven millimeter bolt in there. So we'll take that out first. The uh, pass-through connector, or Mercedes would call it the pilot bushing. There's a bolt in here uh, that screws onto the uh, attaches onto the conductor plate. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we'll uh, drop the pan, take the valve body off. I just want to get a basket to put all my parts in. Okay. Looks kind of crappy. Uh, not too much in the pan. I right, use filter. All right. Next, we're going to take the uh, valve body bolts off. You got bolts here, bolts here, and here to come off. Then the valve will just come straight out. Okay. All right, now in the case here, now you got your N2, N3 speed sensors. That's where they read. Right, so we're gonna flip this up. Now you get the bell housing off. You got bolts on the inside, and you have two bolts on the outside, one on each side. So we're gonna get that. All right, I'm going to take the two outside bolts off. One here, and there's one here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take all the outer ones out, and uh, I'm going to leave these in here for now, but just the outer, the T45s are all going to come out.
All right, guys, just gotta pause the camera for a minute. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the front half of the sec the, the unit out. Um, we got the B uh, the B1 clutch here and the K1 clutch drum here, and I can tell you right off the bat, I think we found the problem. This drum here. This drum here is, is uh, I guess you could say, freewheeling both ways. And it shouldn't do that. It should turn one way and lock the other way because in here is the F1 sprig. In here is the F1 sprig. And the sprig more than likely flipped and uh, is causing it not to lock. Uh, it's a sprig, you know, of course, is the uh, one way clutch. Um, and. This is the inner race, part of the pump stator. And as you put this on here, it is freewheeling both ways. I believe this um, this one here freewheels uh, counterclockwise and locks uh, clockwise. Because um, they say it uh, uh, locks to the clock. All right, so pretty much I could say right off the bat, this is our problem. But we'll just push this aside, we'll get the rest of the strands apart and then we'll kind of go through it. Okay, this here, uh, the drum is, uh, you got a plant in, in the front here, and this is the K2 with the shaft, the K2 plus drum. All right, next I'm gonna get this, let me just get set up for this rear section, I'm just gonna, uh, Pause the camera for a sec. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, take this back one off here. It's a, uh, a 30 millimeter 12 point socket. To. There's actually a, you can't see but there's a shim behind here. You want to be real careful not to lose that so you don't screw up your end play. Uh, but I'm going to pull the K3 and probably rear planet set out. snap ring for the uh, B3, uh, B3 clutch. Drum. All right, now here are the uh, frictions, uh, the uh, B3 frictions. And then we're going to take the drum out. But to take the drum out, there's a couple of bolts. Oh, here's that shim. Here's that shim I was talking about that's right behind. So it's in between the bearing and here, so it goes right here. So you certainly don't want to lose that. Uh, I'm going to take the 245 off. Here's the 
45 bolts that hold the um, B2, uh, B3 piston in. Now this uh, piston should slide right out. Okay. That's that. And then the last thing we have in here is the, here's the park gear. Here's also a shim. You want to check the case to make sure there's no more shims. Sometimes there's more than one. In this case, there is another one. So we've got to keep those together. That's for your end play. Okay, so that's the case. Drums, check the clutches, open up the pump. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 